Two infant chimpanzees, Kimba and Mambu, arrive at the Kwat Noir airport on a hot morning. Kimba is very afraid when he hears the noise of the car. Mambu is very sick and barely has the strength to move. They were confiscated from an illegal drug dealer by the Congolese ministry and then transferred to the Jane Goodall Institute for Care. After 40 kilometers, it arrives at Chimpunga Reserve, where the Sanctuary for Chimpanzees is located. The arrival of new chimpanzees is always a tense moment. The team works quickly to hydrate and feed the newcomers as soon as possible. Kimba cannot believe it and starts to eat and drink without stopping. However, Mambu has no appetite and is really exhausted after the trip. The next day, the veterinary team begins medical testing for the new infants. Mambu has diarrhea from intestinal parasites as well as a yeast infection. His body has no strength and he is exhausted. It is necessary to react quickly and make the right decisions to prevent Mambu from dying. The little chimp must receive fluids and treatment. His life is in the hands of professionals who know what to do in these critical situations. Mambu gradually begins to improve and starts drinking milk and eating fruit. After the first critical week, his health begins to stabilize. Several months later, Mambu is hardly recognizable. He is strong, very active, and growing fast. He is friends with Mbebu and Lemba, and also gets plenty of affection from his caregivers. The dog Tango is one of his best friends in Chimpuga. The two play for hours. Tango licks Mambu's nose and tickles his belly, which makes Mambu laugh nonstop. Even when bedtime comes, Mambu wants to keep playing. He never wants the fun to end. But with a little patience, the caregivers eventually get him to go to bed. <laughs> 